What's up everybody? Karai coming at you with another video. Today what I did was, um, for those of you that don't know, I'm pretty sure you already do know, a new patch was released um, alongside the release of the new and latest and final DLC, Boruto Uzumaki Karma Progression, aka Borushiki. Now with this um, new DLC character came a new patch, as I stated earlier, and what I've done is I've compiled the previous uh, I've taken every change that was uh, mentioned in the patch notes and I've recorded how it was before the patch and then I've also recorded how it was after the patch and so what we're going to be doing here is going over each and every single balance change I'm going to be giving you my thoughts um, on it from the perspective of a player who um, plays quite a bit you know knows competitive storm quite a bit things of that nature and just giving you my overall thoughts on the changes so just a little context though i did want to say this um i do apologize if the visual is a little bit um weird such as the video not showing all the way through on both sides because i was using a different editing software to kind of push this software out or to push this video out a little bit faster because usually i use sony vegas but sony vegas takes so long to render it's definitely way more efficient than this editing software a lot of times if I need to get something out a little quicker, then I'll use this editing software. And don't get it twisted, this editing software is pretty good. It's just that um, it doesn't have nearly the same amount of precision that Sony Vegas has. So I do apologize for that. And then also, um, a little bit under the weather too. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know if my voice sounds a little different. But if you can hear that, then that's the reason. So let's get on with the video. So the first change is we have some battle balance adjustments. Ninja Dash has reduced guard damage. Chakra Dash has reduced guard damage. And Charge Chakra Dash has reduced guard damage along with Cancel Chakra Dash, increased amount of chakra consumption required to activate it. So you can see those changes here. On the right, we got 1.50. Takes five dashes now. Uh, Pre-patch, it only took four dashes. And then, you know, cancel chakra dash in the competitive community, we call it spark dash. Basically, that costs more chakra. And you're about to see that in a moment after I test the charge. So as you can see, if you look in the um, look at the chakra bar closely, then you will see. Let's see. So, yeah, if you look right there. Um, at the chakra bar it costs about double the amount of chakra now so yeah pretty much what do i think about these changes so the i've, I've been playing a lot of post patch uh patch 1.50 connections and i can say that the ninja dash changes they don't really do much for the game honestly basically the game still plays heavily around dash it's just that your guard doesn't break as fast, so you don't get, you know, just steamrolled as easily. You have some more wiggle room, which is nice. It gives you stronger defense, which is good. You don't just get steamrolled. The spark dash costing more chakra, all it did was make it so that people just don't abuse it the way they did before. Before, pretty much, you just wanted to constantly spam spark dash now not so much so the case you don't just throw out spark dashes every few seconds so in my opinion they're good changes but um it's something drastic about the game if you're thinking oh man this is going to be some drastic change in the game it really isn't i will say this if you're more of a defensive player you're loving this patch because you kind of feel like you can you, you don't get really you don't get steamrolled as much right because people have to be careful about how they're using their sparks a little bit more because they cost more chakra, which is how it should have always been. It never made any sense for a spark dash to be the same as a normal dash. Granted, it was just all around better. But again, I, I feel like that happened because I've talked about this before in my videos, but they basically, you know, a lot of the mechanics that had a learning curve behind them in Storm 4, they just basically made it so that they were free in Storm Connections to do. And so I think that's how this ended up happening. So it's good to see them correct that. So now we're going to have individual character adjustments. Starting with Sakura Haruno after this. 
So Sakura Harano has increased defense. So as you can see, this combo uh, does less damage to her. And then Neji Yuga has increased recovery time when hit by ground combos. I don't really know what this means, honestly. Um, I don't see much of a difference. So I don't know if it was, I don't know if the buff is basically, I don't know if this is a nerf or a buff. I don't know if basically he just recovers later or what. And then we have a buff to Lee. So what's interesting is that his tornado can basically be canceled. So on the left, there's a little bit of a delay of a delay before he can cancel it. On the right, he can cancel it at any point from that last hit. The window to cancel it is a lot longer. Personally, Lee's in a good spot. He's already power creep AF. So making him even better, I mean, is cool, I guess. But um, yeah, I don't really think there's much. It's kind of like cool, right? I mean, he's an already good character being buffed is like whatever to me. I don't think this makes him broken or even better than he was. It's just kind of like this already good character is just going to just do even better. So next, after Lee, we have Jirai. So Jirai got some buffs. So increased defense, which is nice. And then his Rasengan got a buff. So as you can see on the right, it only takes me three Rasengans to get to my opponent. On the left, it takes me four Rasengans to get to my opponent. So the distance is is definitely quite an upgrade. As you can see, I was able to do Rasengan. Uh, I was able to go through that sequence two times on the right. And then um, his Awakening actions got nerfed. I don't understand that. Personally, um, this, this buff... I mean, it doesn't really do anything for Jiraiya because his Rasengan is still trash. It has poor tracking. He can't cancel it. In my opinion, in a world where... Um, it, I don't understand what CC2 is doing when it comes to buffs and nerfs because from a canon standpoint, wouldn't it make more sense that Jiraiya could do all this stuff with his Rasengan versus PTS Naruto? If you're going to put limitations on a Rasengan, put it on PTS Naruto because... PTS Naruto's Rasengan has pretty good distance. PTS Naruto's Rasengan can be canceled. It's just a really good Rasengan. It's very annoying to deal with. But Jiraiya, who should be more skilled than Naruto at this point in his life, his Rasengan is trash. <laughs> For what? Just go ahead and make it to where you can cancel it. And just make it all around better. Heck, even slap some more damage on it. Because why not? The character doesn't really have anything else. So, I mean, you might as well at this point. Um, hurting, nerfing his awakening actions makes no sense to me. This character's already struggling. And you're going to nerf them even more? Okay, cool. Whatever. Next, we got Kakashi. And... Um, again, I don't know, one of his uh, nerfs or buffs is that he has increased recovery time when hit by ground combos. Okay. I don't know if this is a buff or a nerf, but I don't think it's really significant. Then his next um, buff is that he has increased advancing distance of throws and, and reduced the damage. So basically, his throw has slightly bigger range, but at the price of less damage. I think that's fine, because his throw... Let some, um, he can combo off of his throw and everything. So I think that's perfectly fine. Reducing the damage, but giving it more range so that it can be used in more practical situations. I think that's a, a cool buff. I think that's a fine buff. That makes sense. So I'm just testing out the range, letting you guys see that. Next is uh, Obito. He has increased defense, which is whatever. Um, these defense buffs don't mean much to me because... Obito is really not a good character outside of this. So if I'm trying to balance this game, my goal is not to make every character god tier because there's too many characters. My goal is to ensure that everyone can have a good experience with their favorite character, right? And right now, Obito just isn't good. If I'm trying to buff Obito, really, they need to make his fireball. I would make his fireball do... Um, just strong guard damage and I would make it fast like it was in Generations 
his uh fireball was so was really good in generations because of the fact that it could um so his fireball on generations it was so fast that if you tried to react and move out of the way it would hit you and it did a, it, it did quite significant guard damage so i would like to see that return with obito yes it would mean people would pick him and probably spell on fireballs but again, you know, I'm trying to optimize for everyone's experience when playing the characters they like. And Obito has no range. His second jutsu is trash. I mean, it, it's a cool combo route, but outside of that, there's nothing really good about it. Um, so go ahead and give this man a really good fireball. Just go ahead and do it. And I don't think there's going to be any issue with that. So, yeah. And then we have um, Ren, right? So her Jutsu got increased damage. Her Jutsu, when used as an assist, got increased damage. Honestly, this is another dumb buff to me. Ren is not that good of a character. Just go ahead and make it to where her Jutsus just do stronger damage. There's better Jutsus that do way better damage than her Jutsus. And so I don't understand why, like, what's with these with these buffs to these characters that are not that good right this is not significant and again i'm not trying to make every character gods here like i'm not saying buff Ren's, you know hit boxes to where they're just dumb like pts naruto's i'm not saying do that i'm not saying make her jutsu stupid broken i'm saying just make it so that if i play Ren or obito that i can do something with these characters versus the worst characters i'm not saying Obviously, you're not going to beat the best teams with a, a really bad character. I mean, that's with any fighting game. But at the very least, just <laughs> give me something. Give me something that can instill some hope in me when I play these characters. And then, anyways, we got reduced defense or increased defense of Sasuke the last, which is cool. But then we got a, a pretty significant nerf. I would say reduced defense for Naruto Uzumaki the last. Which is really interesting because um, I'd like to see this nerf across the board to characters that are doing well. Like characters that we see a lot of. For example, um, characters that people are playing a lot. Like, I don't know. Just some of the really good characters that you tend to see as um, assist. Things of that nature. I mean, Hanzo's not necessarily a problem anymore. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say Minato needs this, but just I think this is more of a nerf that I could get in line with to characters that we see quite a bit. I think there, there should be more risk for using some of these characters. Last Naruto is Power Creep AF. He's still a really good character, still a really good assist. It's just that there's other assists that are better right now. If they nerf Tamari and Shikamaru, you'll, you'll definitely see more last Naruto for sure. It's literally like Hanzo. Hanzo's still a great character. They just nerfed his... Um, honestly, the poison multiplier being adjusted doesn't mean anything to Hanzo. If they just revert his tilt back, you'll see more of him. It's the same thing. It's the same case of um, Hanzo and Storm 4. Hanzo and Storm 4 was a stupidly good character, but his tilt was... Um, they had nerfed his tilt in that game. To where it came out the way it comes out now so hanzo's always going to be that character that if you just buff his tilt back to where it was he'll be he'll be extremely relevant so this is pretty much the most relevant nerf in the game which is kadeen so she takes longer to come back um that's pretty significant because a lot more people were using kadeen as we all know kadeen is a really good um on hit assist she when she hits you she applies several stat um weakening multipliers at a higher multiplier than than the average than the way so excuse me to make sure i'm saying this right the multiplier she puts on you the poison down the defense down the speed down they're slightly higher than the ones induced from tags um making it so that not only does she have not only does her jutsu allow you to reset very well but on hit, it allows you to really capitalize um, significantly. And so her taking a lot longer of a time to come back is really huge in this game because of the fact that um, right now she's just really relevant. 
but only time will tell if it means something. I mean, for example, when they did this same nerf to Ashra, Ashra kind of fell off as an assist. Now, you don't really see Ashra as an assist because he comes back so slow. It takes so it takes you so long to use him. And it's like the reward I get for how long he takes to come out is not worth it because I'm playing against people who are using Shikamaru and Tamari. They're coming back so many times. I'm having to deal with them so many times, so it's just not worth it. Only time will tell if, if this is enough to really can this assist. I don't think it will be just because personally it still comes back pretty fast and I think the reward is enough to warrant you I think the reward that you get off of it is enough to justify still using it so definitely one of the more significant nerfs so was most needed definitely most needed so Rakage increased recovery time when hit by ground combos again I don't know what this means I think that it means they recover slightly faster when getting hit by ground combos, or maybe they re it takes them longer. I don't know. Maybe it's that. Now that I think about it, as I'm looking at it, maybe that's what it is. See how? Yeah. Okay, that's what it is. Bas I think that's what it is. Yeah. So it looks like basically pre-patch these characters got up faster. And basically, they made it to where they can lay on the ground a lot longer when they're hit by ground and combo. So that's what this um, what this is. So basically, it's a buff because they're able to sit on the ground a lot longer. So that's pretty good for these characters, right? Because it means that they don't get hit as hard by Oki. Because Oki's, um, Oki's a lot easier in this game. I don't know what it is, but it's really easy to Oki people in this game. I don't know if we just all got better or what, but Oki's something else for sure. And Mifune. So as we can see at the top, his Jutsu does. Oops. So let me just rewind that a bit. So let's see. So as you can see, his Jutsu does um. His Jutsu does way more, um, not his Jutsu. So one of his, his buffs is that he has reduced chakra consumption when activating Ninjutsu 1 Dancing Blade Hazard. It's not super big, but I mean, it is something, right? So it's, it's better than nothing. And then his next buff is that he has increased defense, which is nice. I mean definitely not a terrible buff i mean it's something from the fune fans and then next we got kaguya it's probably this is like so so far we've gone out of all the you know buffs and nerfs we've gone over kadin was really huge the second probably if not the biggest nerf was to kaguya right so for those of you that don't know kaguya's first string did a lot of damage as you can see from this side by side here pre-patch what they did was they changed it to where now her first hit doesn't do all that damage. And so if you look at this, so look at that. So the first hit of Kaguya on the right does way less damage than it did before a pre-patch. So you're going to see why this is important after. But basically they, they readjusted the damage on her combos to where her first hit no longer does a lot of damage. And instead, the third hit does more damage post-patch than it did before patch. I don't really understand, you know, personally. Um, well, I do understand, but these combos don't even connect. So I see what they're trying to do here. Um, it was more of um, an adjustment. It makes sense, but basically, this is something that you were able to do with Kaguya post-patch. So as you can see on the left, it's doing way more damage. And basically what I'm doing is whenever she does her the first hit of her ice, it comes out slower. And if you just spark dash after it, um, by the time the ice comes out, she's already dashing. And then what happens is that 
while you're dealing while you're jailed from the ice she can just do another first hit icy one and then spark dash again leading to this insane damage on hit and insane damage on guard and it was um it, it was really really strong Def definitely um something that was just really dumb to beat and probably the closest thing we've had to an outright spam since storm rev maybe even three really so it's obvious it had to get nerfed. A really big nerf because you guys probably haven't played against this, thank goodness, because it hadn't gotten around yet. But people would basically pick Kaguya with Karin and just IC1, IC1, Spark Dash, IC1, Spark Dash, boom, 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 boom. And it was it was just crazy. So Yeah. Pretty insane. Nagato defense buff, cool, whatevs. <laughs> And then, um, sure, a distance, right? So now it has more of a curve. So Nagato is even more popular with the ladies than he was before. <laughs> As you can see right there, on patch 1.50, it almost hits me. Pre-patch, it comes nowhere near close to hitting me. So basically, that leads me to believe this Jutsu is really going to be something where... If I kind of have you in a scramble situation, I can kind of pin you down to make it so that you don't jump. As quickly as you have been, I can probably hit you with this. Um, it's really not... It's a cool buff, but... It doesn't really do anything for Nagato. Um, it, it gives him more utility, but he he really didn't need it. He's already he's still a fantastic character. So Dadar, basically he got a buff, made the startup frames of his throws faster, extended their active frames, and decreased a step back at the beginning. So this is this is pretty nice for Dadar, you know, small little buff. Definitely doesn't hurt him. Sakura Harano's Jutsu One does um it has reduced chakra consumption, which is nice. I mean, I'll show you guys that real quick. Let me see. So as you can see, it just does weight. It does slightly less chakra, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. And then the next buff she got was increased damage on her Ninjutsu 1, which is a nice little buff as well. And then she got the startup frames of her thrower faster, which is nice. It means that, you know, her grab. So her grab doesn't give her. Her grab doesn't give her, you know, anything. So the fact that it starts up fast is, is, makes sense. It makes sense as a buff, you know. Characters that don't gain anything, not even um, plus frames off of their throw should have a fast grab so this is a logical buff so it shows that cc2 is capable of doing logical buffs but i don't know they just drop the ball sometimes so that's a good buff next buff was to neji huga he has increased defense as you can see combo on the right post patch does not do as much damage as it did before pre-patch so there's that and then hinata huga has increased recovery time when hit by ground combos so I didn't realize this when I was making the side-by-side. Uh, -side. But now we know that basically this just means that the character wakes up later. Oops. This character wakes up later when hit by um, ground combos. Like a, a down combo that puts them in the ground. So before they were waking up faster. And CC2 noticed that and said, well, hey, we got to change this. So obviously, regular Sakura had an increase in defense, so I just put this here for the visual sake. So of course, it's the same with Boruto Sakura, and then of course, it's the same with Lee in his air combo. So there's that. And then Delta has increased defense. As you can see, post patch, patch 1.50, the combo does uh, less damage. 
And then, of course, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's other slight little nuances. For example, added more elements to the collection of items that can be obtained through the exchange tickets earned from Ninja Battle. Improved some effects used on the combination secret technique 6 pass Shinsu Rasen Shuriken. Um, if you haven't seen the new updated uh, Team Ultimate from the previous DLC, go and check that out. It looks a whole lot better. So there's that. Fix other minor bugs. So there's that. Um, and let's see. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, patch in terms of patch notes. I know on the EU site it said something about supporting this game with future DLC, but on the North American site it doesn't say anything about that. So only time will tell if we get more updates for this game. Personally this patch, if it's the last patch for the game, it's kind of disappointing. I'm glad Kaguya was nerfed, and I'm glad Kadeen got a bit of a hit, but there's still Tamari in the game. Um, personally, um, the guard, the, the dash damage to guard is nice. Spark dash costing more chakra is nice. There were some gems in this patch for sure, but I just hope that they do continue to support it because the game can, it can be better. But yeah, overall, I'd say this patch was, it was solid. I give it probably a six out of 10. Um, I'm not too ecstatic about it. Um, but yeah, overall, um, good stuff. Uh, Boroshiki is a pretty nice DLC character. He's really fun, but um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed this visual. I'm probably gonna put this out as a separate video just because some of you might want to see the visuals without all of this talking, so I might do that. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. This is Karai out. Thanks again.